Hello everyone, Chris McCarthy here and welcome back to my channel as I review the first day of the second FIA Formula 3 postseason test which kicked off today at Barcelona. Uh, let's first get up to speed before I go into my five things to take away from the first day of action uh, with some points to bring you. Uh, first of all, there was one driver change over at ART Grand Prix. Uh, Oliver Gray uh, was replaced by the returning new Nicholas Solov. He was actually one of the five drivers I included in my second day review as uh, one of the drivers I felt was missing and I was joined in many people uh, by feeling uh, that he was missing from the test. So great to see the young Alpine junior back. Uh, Callum Voisin, the GB3 driver, will only be out today with Rodin Carlin. Uh, uh, I believe this is due to the GB3 timetable at Zanvor as they are racing there this weekend. I know a lot of those guys are, are heading over tomorrow. Uh, he will be replaced tomorrow by Frecker driver Nikhil Bora. Uh, we had all the quickest times, a bit of a theme uh, now for the test. They all came in this morning's sessions. Overall, eight different teams representing in the top 10. And the top four were split by less than one tenth of a second. Many familiar faces up there in the top 10. So let's start by giving you the top 10 uh, overall from today. First of all, quickest of the day was Luke Browning uh, over at High Tech Pulse, a 127.055 in this morning's session. Great time from Luke. I mean, uh, we saw him going very quickly in the first test and he goes quickest uh, in the first day of this one. Taylor Barnard for PHM Racing was a very impressive second place. Uh, third place, once again, was Mary Boyer for Campos Racing on home soil. Then that returning Nicholas Solov straight up there in fourth place for ART Grand Prix. Fifth, uh, very consistent, Leonardo Fornaroli. A uh, really good time from him. Uh, Oli Gertha for Campos Racing once again in the top 10 in P6 as was the two Prima Racing teammates of Gabrielli Mini uh, and Dino Biganovic. Mini 8th, uh, Biganovic was P7. Uh, and then two names I feel need a mention. Uh, Dol Leon uh, was ninth for Van Amersfoort Racing. Great driving from the Mexican, uh, who is starting to show some really good form now, the Euro Formula Open champion. Uh, and then 10th place was Hadrian David for MP Motorsport, the only MP driver to get in the top 10. Uh, and given, uh, as I said in my first reviews uh, my first daily reviews given his lack of seat time this year i think it's uh, really impressive actually that uh, he's doing uh, what he is and kind of leading the charge for that mp motorsport team uh, given some of the drivers he has around him there so great time for hadrian david okay let's go into my five points to take away from the first day of action and I'm going to start at the top. Luke Browning and High Tech show true pace in morning session. I touched on it when I went through the top 10 there. Uh, I mean, Luke, we saw him go second fastest in both the afternoon sessions uh, at Jerez. Uh, this time, uh, they were the slower sessions uh, as well, the afternoon session. So when the combined times were put together from both days, we never saw a true reflection of what he could do. Uh, this time, they've come out the blocks very, very quickly and they've come out the blocks fastest. And uh, I think uh, Luke is one of the very few drivers, one of four drivers who uh, has come back with the same team. Uh, one of five drivers now, Nick is back actually but one of very few uh, who, who's come back with the same team and that consistency I think starting to pay off he's clearly got a great relationship down there at high tech uh, and those guys are start, starting to show some really impressive pace and it looks very likely that possibly he's going to stay there for another season next year and if that's the case that's looking like a, a really strong partnership so exciting stuff for Luke and high tech uh, as they go quickest uh, today uh, second five different teams in the top five I mean you might have picked up on it when I went through the top 10. High Tech, PHM, Campos, ART uh, and Trident. No Prima Racing in that. We had eight different teams in the top 10 when you then add in Prima, VAR and MP. So, I mean, that's absolutely fantastic that we're seeing so many different teams represented in that top 10. And I think what that shows is that this postseason test with all the drivers that we've had moving around and all the new drivers that we've had coming in as we got so much talent as we always do in Formula 3 across so many different teams uh, that it really is hard to pick out a standout team from all of this. I mean, Campos and Prema have 
really stood out when you look at the overall times but uh, we've had some fantastic performances from from all the teams really uh, it's been great to see and to have five different teams represented in the top five places uh, I think is a, a fantastic advert for the championship uh, and how competitive it could be going into next season so really great stuff and as an F3 fan I think very very exciting for all of us uh, Solov returns straight into the top five I mean Many of us were wondering, where is Nikola Solov uh, at Jerez? Uh, I did see he was posting some uh, stories of him training, uh, and clearly that training has paid off because he's come straight in, P4, with an ART team, let's be honest, that struggled this season. Uh, at the first test, they were a little bit quiet, I think maybe due to some of uh, how the, tactically how they maybe approach that test. Uh, but he was actually the only ART driver in the top 10. So leading the charge for ART Grand Prix and, and doing it fairly comfortably as well. So fantastic stuff from Nicolas Solov and great to see him back and, uh, and only just over a tenth off the fastest time as well. PHM continue to improve. I mean, they're starting to get very quick now. You can see why they uh, took Taylor Barnard back into that fold. They've already had an existing relationship and now Taylor has got them into second place, just three hundredths off the fastest time of the day. He was one second quicker than his teammates, Taz Inchefuvazak and Josh Dufek uh, as well. And Taylor is really leading that team very strongly now. Uh, the other guys could be working on other things, but uh, Taylor and PHM alone are making a, a strong, strong partnership. And uh, I'm excited to see what those guys do. The more testing they do, the stronger they're going to get. And, and that's looking like a, a really, really strong partnership going into next season and into the remaining tests as well. Uh, and Mini versus Beganovic round three. I mean, they were head to head uh, at Jerez and they were head to head again uh, today. Uh, they were split by, oh, let's see, seventh and eighth uh, overall split by uh, fractions, three hundredths. Uh, of a second and then they were first and second it was Beganovic who was ahead in the morning Mini was then ahead this afternoon he was quickest with Beganovic second and they were split by just over a tenth of a second so that head-to-head -head continues I expect that will be the same again tomorrow and I think tomorrow morning is when we could see the quickest times of the test okay top 15 was rounded out by Zay Maloney from Carlin Sebastian Montoya from Campos Charlie Verts from Genza Sammy Megatuna from Trident Martinius Stenshaw from high tech uh, as well uh, so good to see uh, some other teams uh, in there in that top 15 as for your remaining teams and drivers over at Prima Arvid Limblad was 18th at Trident Santiago Ramos 17th MP Emo Fittipaldi Jr. 26th we've gone through all of Campos so we'll move to High Tech Pulse 8 who had Keen Shields 29th Jenza uh, birthday boy Max Esterson from yesterday was 20th Mateus Zagazella 23rd uh, Van Amersfoort Sophia Flush was 24th Tommy Smith 30th ART Grand Prix Christian Mansell 21st Lawrence Van Hopen was 22nd uh, PHM Racing Taz Inchefuvasak was 25th uh, and Josh Dufek was in 20th eighth place so that wraps everything up for the first day review i'm going to finish it there very quickly do come back for the same again tomorrow do give it a like and subscribe uh, and we'll see what we have tomorrow but a great first day to kick us off for the second postseason test over at barcelona